Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm back with another tactic test. Today's tactic we're looking at is called 42121 Grass Fury 2. And if you want to download it, link will be in the description below. And if you can't download it for any reason, I will run this tactic near the end of the video. Just in case you're on console, I'll show you everything, all the positions, all the instructions, just so you can copy everything down. We tested with three teams, Main City, Brighton and Luton. We leave the system manager in charge. He has to play this tactic. And then we come back at the end of the season and I, we put it in a little fun tactics league table. We add up the points and we see which is the best tactic out there. Thank you so much for watching this series. I do really appreciate it. I appreciate all the love and support. It's fantastic. But if you can do me a big favor at the start of this video, leave a like on this video. And if you haven't done already and you've watched a few videos, please hit that subscribe button as well. That would be amazing. We're looking at Main City's best living without restrictions. So let's start there and check out their results. So we start with the Community Shield where we beat Arsenal 2-0. And then in the Carabao Cup, we got to the quarterfinal. We lost 2-1 against Villa, but they did score in the 94th minute. In the FA Cup, well, we only went on to win it. We knocked out Arsenal in the fourth round 3-1, which is excellent. We only just about beat Leicester on penalties. We played Nottingham Forest in the final. And we left this late. We scored in the 91st minute. And we also picked up the Super Cup, but we did need extra time winning 3-2. On to the Champions League, and we finished in third place. This is very disappointing. We won four, lost two, but all three teams finished on 12 points. So that means we go into the Europa League, where we got all the way to the final, and it's the team Liverpool. But with Man City, we should be able to beat them, but sadly not. We lost 4-3 in extra time. On to the Premier League now, where this looks very good. We won 31, we drew 5, we only lost two games all season. We scored 119 goals and conceded 39. We got a goal difference of 80 and a good start, a good points tally of 98. On to their player stats now. Top goal scorer, Haaland, 64 goals. Doku, 21 goals. Alvarez with 21, doing very well. Assists, what do we have? Haaland scoring the most goals and the most joint most assists with 17. With Rico Lewis with 16. The best performer is Haaland with an 8.01. Not that many players in green, though. Normally, we have quite a few more players than that in green. And clean sheets, we've got 24. On to team stats now. Most points per game, we've got a 2.58. Most goals were top of 119. We're top of most shots for with 793. Fewer shots against, we're top here as well with 261. Most possession, 7th place here with 53%. Most dribbles made, we are joint 7th place over 628. Tottenham are top. I've noticed since this winter update, Tottenham have got a really big upgrade because they do very well in the tactic test recently. Most clean sheets, 5th place here with 14. Tottenham defensively with 20. Fewest conceded, we're in 4th place here, only conceding 39. Like I said, Tottenham, since the winter update, they are OP. Um, Champions League, very, very disappointing. Uh, same with the Carabao Cup, that's disappointing as well. We did manage to win the FA Cup though, and the Community Shield, and the Super Cup, and the league with 98 points, which really what it's all about is the Tata Test and League, because that's what we add up. So 98 points is a very good start. Let's see how Brighton go on. Starting with their Carabao Cup, they knocked out Villa in the third round, 2-1, which is excellent. But then they got to the quarterfinal. And a free all draw against Arsenal, but then lost it on penalties. And in the FA Cup, we knocked out Fulham in the third round. Excellent, 3-1. Then we drew free all away from home against Fleetwood, bring them back to our place and lost 2-1 in extra time. Very, very disappointing. On to their Europa League group stage where they done very well. They won all six, didn't lose a single game, finished on 18 points. Then in the knockout rounds, well, it's only Benfica in the quarterfinal. Two all away from home, which is good. But at home, we're not the best. We lost 6-3. On to the Premier League now, where this tactic just seems to work in league format. We won 22. We drew 9. Lost 7. Goals for 83. Goals against 44. A goal difference of 39. And a points tally of 75. And yes, Tottenham won the league. On to their player stats. Top goal scorer is Ferguson with 29 goals. Had a very, very good season. Pedro of 17. Assist wise, what do we have? The left back of 18. Veltman with 16. Quite a few assists. Uh, average rating wise, I feel we've got more players than what Main City had in green. Uh, the best performer is Ferguson with a 7.40. And when we look at clean sheets, we've got 14. On to their team stats. Most points per game, fourth place here, 1.97. 
Most goals joint top with Villa with 83. Most shots for, though, we are top here with 573. Fewer shots against, so in sixth place here, 363. Most clean sheets, seventh place here with 11 clean sheets. Tottenham, again, defensively doing very well. And fewest conceded, we're in fifth place here, only seen 44 for the season. With Brighton, you've seen some of the tatter tests that seen only 44. Phenomenal. 75 points. Phenomenal. A very, very good tactic. Just maybe not as good as the Tottenham tactic. That's it with Brighton. On to our last team. Which is Luton. And we check out their Carabao Cup. And they got all the way to the semi-final. This close. Maybe not to win the same. But this close to getting to a final. But we lost. We lost 1-0 at home to Liverpool. We went to Anfield. We beat them 2-1. But then we lose on penalties. And in the FA Cup, we lost in the fifth round here against Man City 3-1. Now on to the Premier League. And yes, Tottenham won the league again. We won 16. We finished in 10th place. We won 16, drew 11, lost 11, scored 68 goals, conceded 52, a goal difference of 16, and a points tally of 59, which is amazing. But the Tottenham one really threw me off. They keep winning the league. So let's check out their player stats. Top goal scorer, Jacob Brown with 15 goals. Carlton Morris with 13, not bad at all. Eda Bay with 12. The striker's doing very well. Assist-wise, what they have, Dowerty with 9. Cabal with 9. Best performer, got quite a few players in green. We're going to give it a bell because he's played more games than Clark with a 7.11. And clean sheets, we've got 13. On to their team stats now. Fifth place in most goals with 68. Most shots for 8th place here with 497. Fewer shots against 8th place here with 406. And most clean sheets, joint 7th place here with 11 clean sheets for the season. And those are the only lists that were on. Like I said, Tottenham win the league again. We got 59 points. This is a very, very good tactic. I think it should be up there or roundabouts. Let me up the points and see where it does come in our tactic testing league. 42121 Grass Fury 2 comes in at the top spot. 169 Drew 29 lost 20. Goals for 270. Goals against 135. A goal difference of 135. Won four trophies, but a points tally of 232. This is one hell of a tactic. Definitely use it and let me know how you got on with it. 232 points. Amazing. If you need the instructions because you're playing on console, well, for every reason, please carry on watching this video because I'm about to run over it. So what do we have in goal? We've got a sweeper, keeper on defend. On the left-hand side, we've got a fullback on attack. On the right-hand side, we've got a fullback on attack. We've got a ball playing defender on defend. Alongside another ball playing defender on defend. In front of them, we've got a defense midfielder on support. Alongside another defensive midfielder on support, same instructions. In front of them, we've got attacker midfielder attack. On the right hand side, we've got inside forward support. Up front, through the middle, we've got advanced forward attack. To the left of him, we've got a complete forward support. Mentality positive. In possession, what do we have? We've got attacking width fairly wide. Approach play passing the space. Focus down the left. Overlap on the left. Focus down the right, overlap on the right, pass and is shorter, tempo higher, time wasting never, low crosses, run at defence, in transition, what do we have? We've got counter press, counter, dispute quickly, roller out, out of possession, what we've got? We've got a high press line of engagement, a much higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent short goal kick distribution, get stuck in, step up more, and that is your lot. This is, like I said, a fantastic tactic. Thanks so much for watching. If you can do me a big favor, leave a like and all that good stuff. I much appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. See you then.